What's up guys, it's James here. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the top most underrated Airbnb management niches out there. I'm gonna to talk to you about some Airbnb management niches. And what I mean by niches, is just the types of property owners that you can work with that are being underserved right now and that represent a huge, huge opportunity for anyone looking to manage properties on Airbnb. Now, before we dive into that, I just wanna remind you that in the description down below, there's a link to a free training. Inside that free training, you can learn every single step of the process of exactly how we build six-figure Airbnb management businesses in under 12 months. Everything that I've learned from building the business and coaching hundreds and hundreds, literally over 500 students now, how to build their own business that's highly successful and they can earn a full-time income with. So if you wanna check that out, the link is in the description down below. The training is completely free and we show you how to get started without any money at all. So I highly recommend checking that out in the link in the description down below. So let's get to the point of this video. Let's talk about some Airbnb management niches that are highly underserved and that are really, really fantastic and right for people to go into and take advantage of and build killer businesses with right now in 2021. So the first one that I'd like to talk to you about is areas near national parks. These tend to be slightly more rural areas near national parks that right now are doing incredibly well. I mean incredibly well. In 2020 and so far in 2021, these areas tend to be absolutely booming because most of the tourism happening right now is domestic tourism. So with all the domestic tourism happening as opposed to international tourism, a lot of people are doing little weekend guests getaways and staycations, and they're getting away to national parks at a very, very increased rate over normal. So what this means is that you can work with properties that typically would be earning a good bit less, but are still very desirable places, but that now are going to earn a lot more money than normal. So if you think about areas ideally that are a couple hours outside of major cities like LA, New York, different areas in Florida, that are outside of there but that represent some draw to the people that live in the city, that's a really great place to get started. A lot of the time we tend to think that people are gonna be traveling into that major city, but now people are actually traveling out of that major city. It's not so much that people are coming in and flying in from abroad to go and check out New York or check out LA or check out San Diego. It's that the huge populations within in LA, San Diego, or New York is now spreading out and getting out into areas like uh, national parks, somewhere they can get out, spread their lives, get some fresh air, and do some more adventuring, actually get outside for once and alleviate some of the stress from this lockdown. So those areas can be really great and working within that niche of properties in and around a specific national park can be a really great direction to start your business if you're just getting started right now. Now, another really great opportunity that tends to get overlooked is cottage country. A lot of people, and this is, can be similar, doesn't have to be near a national park, but just as a nice getaway where a lot of the people from these major urban centers get away to. And again, a lot of people tend to focus on those major urban centers. A lot of people think, well, if my area doesn't have a huge population and a lot of tourists draw to it, then you know, I'm not really in a good area to be managing properties on Airbnb, but the opposite is often true. A lot of these smaller towns outside of the major cities tend to do really, really well, and cottage country is absolutely booming right now with popularity. Not only are more people looking to buy places out in cottage country, but more people also are looking to get away there. So this summer, expect there to be a huge amount of demand for properties in those types of locations. So. Generally, if you're looking for an underserved, right for opportunity market, you want to get into somewhere that the locals are going to be expanding out to this summer. That is the best place to get started right now. It's underserved. It's a really big untapped opportunity. And a lot of people have it flying under the radar. A lot of people aren't thinking about these typically lower performing niches. Now, the great thing about getting into either one of these two niches specifically is that you're not going to be positioning your business only for short term success. What you want to be mindful of in choosing a niche to start working with in light of everything going on with the you know, recent events of the world is that you want to make sure that once things do smooth over, once the vaccine has rolled out, once things start to get back to normal again, that you don't now have a business that's going to be going to have dried up overnight. 
you want to make sure that you're still operating a business that has a really great chance of being exceptionally successful. Now, there's always going to be draw to national parks and there's always going to be draw to cottage country. Is that draw going to be as great as when people can't travel internationally? Well, no, but you're still going to be able to run a really great business. It's for exactly that reason that I recently purchased a property in cottage country. Sure, in 2021 right now, it's going to do exceptionally well. I know that, but I bought it projecting from the numbers in 2019. And I know that even if the numbers from 2019 are able to pull through, then it'll be a really strong investment. I didn't account for only buying the property so that it can succeed in 2021. I know that as long as it does as well as it was doing in 2018, 2019, and 2017 even, then I'm still going to be able to make this a great investment. And so you want to think about your business the same way. Though you might not be purchasing property, you know, we'll show you, like I mentioned in the train down below, how to get started managing other people's properties on Airbnb without paying any money to buy, rent, furnish, or anything like that. But even though you're not investing that money, you are going to be investing your time and your energy. At the end of the day, any property that you are working with is time and energy that you're putting into a property that you could be putting in elsewhere, whether into another property or another area of your life entirely. So if you're going to be putting that time in, you want to make sure that it's not just going to pay off for the next one to two years. You want to make sure that it's going to pay off for five, 10 years down the road. So you want to make sure you're picking a niche that's going to do exceptionally well long term as well. And those two that I've just mentioned to you, be it cottage country or areas around national parks, are two that are going to do well long term. Again, I hope this video has been really helpful and valuable to you. These are just some of the areas that I've seen students being exceptionally successful over the past six to 12 months and where I see a huge amount of opportunity moving forward. I've put my money behind this and I'm doing this myself. So if you want to take this idea from me and go and run with it, then I welcome you to do so. If you want the tools to make that happen and be able to do that successfully, then again, I highly recommend checking out the link down below to the free training that's going to walk you through step by step by step exactly how to earn a full time income managing other people's properties on Airbnb. Now, also, I'd invite you to check out my channel and send me an email if you're interested in buying properties on Airbnb. It's an area of space that I'm just getting into and I actually worked with a fantastic coach to get me started buying properties on Airbnb. So if that's something you're interested in, then I highly recommend you reach out to me, either comment down below this video, send me an email, whatever you want, just get in touch with me because if that's something you're interested in, then I'd love to know and I'd love to be in touch with you so that I can put out more content relating to that. So again, just let me know in the comment section down below is probably the easiest way to let me know if you're interested in learning more about how to invest in properties for short-term rental. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to, before you leave, just hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with every new video we post, which we post twice every single week. I'll see you in the next video.